So right now, I'm shooting the Florida Central Silver Star job with the FCN number CF7 number 50. And I'm thinking I'm gonna make this short little video just because uh, how to take night photography. So, for night photography, to get shots like this, at night when it's dark, you need flashes. Now, I've got three remote control flashes here. I got it hooked up to my Canon 60D right here with this trigger. Now, this allows me to set off these flashes which are on receivers here. A receiver, now you must have actual stands for these, but I just have a thousand tripods, so I just use the tripods. But you put these on your tripods. And now what you do is you try to set them up every couple of feet. Ideally, if you can use four, I've got three. That one is a buddy of mine's, this one is mine. I bought this off Amazon, Amazon Basics for 30 bucks. And that belongs to my friend Joshua Evans there. Now when you do that, you can't shoot night like you shoot the daytime. You have to have specific settings for this. So for me, I've got my ISO set at 200 right now because it's not entirely dark, there's still some ambient light. I've got my shutter speed at 100. I have to stop at 3.5, I can take that up maybe one. My ISO, that went back to a 200. And my white balance, I, people usually leave it automatic. I like to do specifically flash for this. Now, see with the camera, you're gonna end up losing light like I am now on my camera. But with these flash units, they allow me to light up my area to give me that there. Now the tricky part is, which when it's gonna be more of an issue when it's darker here, when I lose the sunlight, it's going to be harder for me to find an area to focus on. So what I need to do, he's releasing his brakes. I want to go back this way, actually. What I need to do is try to find an area to focus on. Now, this isn't as hard when you're doing move, uh, static trains. But when your trains are moving, you get one chance to focus. Now, what I like to do is because I don't use back button focus, I like to take my lens here once I got my focus point set and put it to manual focus that leaves it alone which my phone apparently doesn't want to do that itself either so now with the train coming toward me I've got my focus points ready I figure out how I want the shot framed on my camera on my camera I want this to be my frame right here now notice it looks extremely dark right now See, this is my entire study. This is actually something I just pulled out of my head. I didn't realize that I could actually do this. The camera, that's kind of cool. Well, they're not ready to move yet. So I'll ramble on in a minute. But yeah, you want to have your setup. They're doing that one minute test. You want your setup to be not too close, but far enough to where you can cover the whole locomotive. Now I'm lucky with this because this is CF7 is a short locomotive. I don't have to spread them too far apart. When you're shooting the bigger mainline stuff, class one stuff like GVOs, ES44s, and SD70s, you want to have, this one likes to die on me. There you go, give me the red light. You want to space them out a little more. Now, I'll come back when they start moving. Okay, conductor just asked for three step after the one minute test. They're gonna decouple these cars that they've had air on. They're gonna should start coming forward to me now. So now, I've moved. So I've refocused my lens. So now, I've got my focus point set there. Now as the train comes forward, I can take this off automatic focus again. And I can wait for them to come forward. Which I don't know what they're gonna do right now. Okay, so now he's on his way forward. Now I'll refocus the camera. Camera is here. Wait till he gets where in the frame I want him.
make sure you follow your rules of thirds now. So now they seem like they're done switching free to lay here. But now the issue here is, and you'll see the back of my train is dark. Now, why is that? My third flashback there did not fire. Actually, I don't think they are done. My third flashback here, let me actually get my other radio so they can, I can hear what they're saying because my other one is on my, is on my, uh, Hold on. See, my flash over here, what happened, this flash didn't light. And this one, if it sits for too long, and this is the issue you have with uh, flashes, like these are just basic flashes because I'm on a budget and I'm broke. But these, you have to make sure they don't die on you. So I got one, two, three. All right, conductor just notified me that they are done switching Frito-Lay. So this wasn't very much a planned video. I've been flirting with the idea of making a video on how to do night photography. Um, the only changes you'd really make in terms of being like dark dark is my ISO here is at 200. When it's dark dark, you want to flirt between 800 and certain people go to 2000. Your shutter speed can anywhere be anywhere between 250. I wouldn't go to 320. 250 down to anywhere south of that, depending on how you want it to look. So I'll go into a little more detail. I just figured I'd do this now while I'm waiting for the switch. But these are the results of you taking night photos with your DSLR. I use a Canon 60D. The same rules can really apply for any DSLR that you have. And pretty much, that's it. So thank you guys for watching my little random one-off video that I just decided to make. I'm gonna go leave this train alone now. I've harassed it enough for the last maybe hour and a half. I've got some errands to run. So with that being said, this is me, CF Rail Banning, signing off.